Hello and welcome. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to be talking about installing Windows XP onto a computer that either has no working CD-ROM or you have maybe a mini laptop that has no CD-ROM at all. So how do you get Windows uh, reinstalled onto a computer without a CD-ROM? Well, Microsoft has created a uh, Windows setup uh, utility that will run in DOS. The file is called Win I or W I N N T Win N T. This is the DOS uh, setup file. There's another one called W I N N T 32, which you can use inside of Windows uh, to do a Windows installation. But you can uh, install Windows XP using DOS. I uh, used to be I had I used to, if we had a bad CD-ROM I'd either have to put a new CD-ROM in or I used to have to take the hard drive completely out of a computer and put uh, the i36 folder back onto the hard drive. Now the i36 folder is located in your Windows uh, CD installation disk and it comprises of over 5,000 files that are used uh, to install Windows XP. What we need to do though is get that i36 folder onto the hard drive so that we can use DOS uh, to do a new installation. Now recently they've come up with flash drives uh, that are bootable and there is still a utility floating around on the internet called HP Drive Key and this is a utility that allows uh, flash drives to boot in DOS. So you can retrieve that uh, utility, set up a flash drive so that it's bootable to DOS. Most computers today you can change the BIOS so that your first boot de device is a flash drive. First you need to do that and make sure you have a computer that will boot uh, to a flash drive. But once you get a flash drive set up and it's bootable, you need to copy the i36 folder from an, uh, a CD installation, Windows installation disk, onto the flash drive. After you get it onto the flash drive, then you can boot the computer that doesn't have a CD-ROM to the flash drive. Uh, this is a simulation in a virtual environment that I've created. I have got my uh, flash drive installed and it's booted. You can see I have welcomes to MS, MS DOS. Now to install Windows XP, type WINNT to begin. Uh, first of all, what I need to do is get that i36 uh, folder onto the hard drive. And to do that, I'm going to use the, the command xcopy. Uh, xcopy is a command uh, you can find on your uh, Windows uh, 98 uh, DOS uh, folder, which is the command uh, folder inside of Windows 98. I have a lot of uh, DOS files and xcopy. Copy is the one that I like to use because XCopy is pretty powerful. It will not only copy all the files, but it will also co copy any subdirectory. Now I've got my uh, i36 folder, not on the C, but I think it's on the E. So I'm going to go to the E drive, type DIR, and you can see I've got an i36 folder here. So I'm going to go inside that i386 and take a look. I'm going to go ahead and just look at files inside here. I'm going to do a DIR. List those files. You can see the files flying by. There's over 5,000 files that make up the installation. It's actually 5,709 files on this particular i36 folder. Now I'm going to take that folder and use the xcopy command again. create a folder on my uh, C drive to where I'm going to copy these files into it. It'll take me just a minute. Now I'm doing my copying of files from my i36 folder, created a folder on my C drive called i36 so I can get all these um, files copied over to the hard drive. Once they're copied over, it's going to take a few minutes. You can see I'm only into the D's right now. It's going to take a few minutes to get all these over. Another tip uh, you should you should be aware of is there's another, there's another file called Smart Drive. S M A R T D R V dot E X E. 
that's a very important file. It's a it's a caching or a file caching uh, program utility that will increase the speed tremendously of your uh, file copying from one partition to another or from one drive to another. That's something else you need to make sure uh, you've started. And that again can be found in that command folder on a Windows 98 installation. It's another DOS uh, file. It's very important. So while this is uh, copied over, we can go ahead and start our installation. It'll be just a minute. Okay, I've got my files copied to the hard drive. I've got a new uh, folder called i36 on the hard drive. Now all I need to do is type W-I-N-N-T. Okay, now we've got files copied over. We should be able to start our Windows installation. All you need to do is type in W-I-N-N-T. That file is located inside of the i36 folder, and that's our setup uh, file to begin. Press Enter. You can see right away we got Windows XP setup ready to go. Uh, setup needs to know uh, where the Windows XP files are located. And again, we have them here on the E drive, and it's in an i386 uh, folder. And I've actually got that inside another i386 folder. So there are my files. Uh, Windows now can begin to install. So says, please wait while setup copies the files to your hard drive. And this is going to take a few minutes. So we're going to break uh, for a little bit until we get this uh, set up and finished. Uh, welcome back again. Uh, we've got XP Professional set up. Uh, we're about halfway through the installation of our uh, XP, uh, Windows XP on using a DOS uh, installation. Uh, right now it's just telling us to reboot, uh, remove any floppy. So I'll go ahead and do that. And uh, see how much longer we're going to run here. And we've got this excellent upgrade. And went to the sub. And we'll take a break here and we'll turn it. Still in the process of installing Windows XP using the DOS uh, installation method. Uh, this is going to take a, a few minutes, uh, so we're going to go ahead and end this uh, segment for right now. Uh, again, this is uh, another way to install Windows XP onto your computer uh, using DOS. Uh, this is real handy in case you don't have a CD-ROM on your computer or your CD-ROM is uh, not operational. Uh, this is a procedure I use in my lab quite a bit. Uh, we do have CD-ROMs that fail from time to time, and instead of taking the time to uh, pull them out and replace them, sometimes I need to get the computers uh, back up right away so I can I can use this uh, procedure just using the flash drive and installing Windows XP. I hope this helps. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.